that and have been playing and practicing so well up to this point and will continue to do that this week. Yeah. A little bit of a narrative that this is not the greatest matchup for TCU, the run game that you guys have, and their base defense obviously will have to change some things up. Sure. Just, I mean, they're a good team, they're here for a reason. Yeah. What are your yeah. thoughts on the, the matchup problem for them? Right Absolutely. Um, I think it's I think it's a great matchup for, for both sides. Um, a defense we don't really see, an offense that they don't really see. And it'll be kind of cool just to see, um, you know, the adjustments that we both make. and. Um, you know, I can feel, and I think there's going to be a lot of exciting moments and um, big time plays in this game. So, but yeah, I mean, a, a ton of confidence in, in this offense, and something that um, we continue to do so well this season. And um, yeah, it'll be it'll be fun to to bring that to them and um, see how they handle it. Mm -hmm. Look after this long, yeah. Games and all the the yeah. Um, like I've been saying, I, th I think uh, having having a sort of confidence that uh, we've been here before, and you know that last time we were here um, ended in defeat. And I know that uh, there's so much um, there was so much room left in, in so many things uh, that we wanted to do last year that we couldn't do. Uh, you know, we fell short, but now we're back here. Uh, with another opportunity and yeah just excited to have it back and I feel like everybody just has that that sort of confidence and, and not as as starstruck and that that first time feeling as last year as it is this year so you mentioned that is it, do you think there is a difference between last year's team and this year's team coming into this first game of the playoffs? yeah I think so just just you know that that feeling of confidence um and, and being here before and, and everybody, um, you know, being, we've, we've played so well together on both sides of the ball this year uh, and have a lot of guys from that team last year that, that know what this experience is like and being able to be back here is a great opportunity to, to just go even further. I talked to JJ and a couple other guys about yeah. today practicing <clears throat> outside for the first time in a while. What does that mean to get back outside? Yeah, it'll be cool. Um, I think we're we're practicing at the the Angels practice facility. I think so. It, yeah, it'll be cool to, to be out there and um, some great weather, not not scorching hot or anything. So, yeah, that'll be great to, to be back outside and um, you know that Midwest weather keeps you from doing that for a long time. So, it, yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be awesome. You, you came out of high school playing a bunch of different positions. Did you call yourself a developmental project as a tight end when you got to Michigan? How would you have described your, your start and then where you are now? Yeah, uh, for sure. I think there was so much that I had to learn uh, first coming in here as a tight end. and I had so many great guys around me at the time that uh, did so many great things um, at, the, at the position, and I was able to learn all those and, and incorporate those into my game, but also learn um, things that I could uh, use and, and discover myself. And yeah, it's been a great journey just to be able to keep on building tools and, and learn um, new things about the position and, and uh, watch a bunch of great guys that, that I love watching at the next level and incorporate their game into mine. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been such a, a fun time. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, yeah, he was he was definitely light years ahead of me when I when I first came here. You know, an opportunity presented itself for him, and, and he grasped that and, and has been running with it ever since. So, I mean, the sky's the ceiling for him. He he, uh, tremendous athlete and uh, tremendous guy too. That it, you know, he's hardworking. Uh, in blue collar, which which we love around here, so um, he'll continue to develop. But yeah, right right off the right off the bat, when he got his chance, he's he's been doing so well with it. So uh, so happy for him, and um, I know this is just going to be another another great time for him. So thank you. Shared experience of last year's semifinal sort of motivation. Yeah, I think it's huge motivation, um, especially getting to that point and, and it ending in defeat, I think just 
was fuel to the fire. And now that we get the chance to be back here um, and get the chance to do it again, it's, it's, uh, it's a different mindset this year for this team. Um, so we're excited to be back here, excited to be in a, this awesome location um, and experience all the, the different events that we will this week. But I know there's that underlying focus in that, um, you know, knowing that we have a job to do and, and uh, that it's not finished. So, Were you able to enjoy the accomplishment getting there last year, the way it ended with that kind of leave a bad taste in the entire offseason? Yeah, it's a, it, there was a, a bad taste for sure. Um, and while, yeah, you know, just the journey of, of getting to that point was so great. It was so exciting. Um, it left a bad taste in our mouth, and I think it, it uh, is a different feel this year. It's, it's not as, as starstruck in that first-time feeling um, this year as it was last year. So, yeah, a, d a different mindset for everybody, and you can feel it. I can feel it. Um, the past few weeks, it's, it's been great. So. It's, it's 24 today in Ann Arbor. What's it, what's it like waking up in here? Yeah, uh, pretty great to be able to wear a short sleeve and shorts, um, even when it's, you know, 50 here and, and a little bit cooler, but definitely a big, a big change from, from that. So, it's a, yeah, it's always exciting to play in these bowl games that, you know, you get to have the nice weather, and, um, yeah, it's just another addition to it. Thank you.